The entire nation is learning about the greatness of Georgia Amor. Averaging 24 points a game, she makes the hustle play. She involves her teammates, averaging five assists a game on the season. Georgia Amor! and she is dynamic. Can you put that on repeat? Amor for three. There is Georgia Amor, the Australian gunner. She's come on big whenever they needed her. Georgia Amor is an electric player. She's gritty, she works hard. She's tough as nails. She shoots the ball extremely well. She has set a single season school record for threes, and in her last five games, she's averaging over five threes per game. I am a huge fan of Georgia Amor's step back three point shot. I think that I've turned a three point shot into something for me that works really well. You know, my step back and my quick release, I'm very short. This is a little tiny player from Australia, listed generously at 5'6. She is a lot on the court. So for me, the three point shot has just been a weapon because I've been able to get into it so quick. Having Georgia Amor as my point guard feels like a security blanket. You talk about a player that has the ability to do it in terms of scoring and passing, but also has the ability to control the temperament of her squad. I like being a point guard because I feel like the connection between, you know, you and the coach is just a, a little bit tighter. She sees the game exactly the way I see the game. It's the purest joy that you can have as a coach when you're connected with your point guard like we are. Not everyone receives the same feedback the same way. So just being so thorough and understanding of every single person, that is probably the coolest part about being a point guard. She's just really fun to watch and I'm really glad that she's on my team. Potentially devastating for Virginia Tech. Georgia Amor, their star guard, left the court with the aid of the athletic training staff. When I went down at the Ohio State game, it was like a movie, you know, when people get punched and they fly all the way back. Um, that's what it felt like, and I was on the floor and I was just really shaken up. The Hokies, who rely so heavily on Amor, have to try and navigate without her. Just needed to catch my breath. If anything wants to motivate me, that was it. Because as soon as I came back out into the court, they started pressing again. And I was like, I'm not about this. I just want to get back out there. George Amor is back for Virginia Tech saying, let me go back in. I'm OK. All of Hokie Nation exhales. And for the first time in program history, Virginia Tech is headed to the Final Four. To bring Virginia Tech to the first program Final Four is absolutely amazing. I love playing with this team so much, but I'm also just really happy for Coach Brooks because he's done amazing things with this program. Getting this far just validates that this is the best team that's ever played at Virginia Tech. We're here with an opportunity to go for a national championship, and we didn't come this far to just try to come this far. This team is really confident. We understand we have to take each game, uh, just one game at a time. This whole journey has been absolutely phenomenal for us, for Coach Brooks, for Virginia Tech, and I'm just so glad that everyone right now can experience it along with us.